In this demo, we're going to create and link a GPO, modify processing order, enforce a link, and create a report. From CL1, logged on as administrator, I'm going to navigate down to Windows Administrative Tools and execute Active Directory Users and Computers. The reason we're here is to show the structure, the OU structure. Notice there's an IT OU and notice that there's a Technicians Sub OU and Beth Burke is in the Technicians Sub OU. Now let's open the Group Policy Management tool. From A Datum, navigate to the Group Policy Objects container, right click, New, and we'll create a new GPO. We'll call it Background 1. We're going to link the GPO to the ITOU. We're going to edit the GPO. Within the editor, we're going to select Policies, Administrative Templates, Desktop, Desktop, and select the Desktop Wallpaper setting. We're going to enable the setting and we're going to select an image to use as wallpaper. Select OK. Let's go to CL2. Notice Beth is logged on and notice the black background. We're going to have Beth sign out. And sign right back in which activates the GPO and you see the image from the background one GPO. Back to CL1. Now we're going to create a second GPO. We'll call this one background two. We're going to link that to the technicians OU. going to edit the background 2 GPO. We'll go from user configuration to policies to administrative templates to desktop, desktop, desktop wallpaper again. And we're going to select a different image for this GPO. We're going to have Beth sign out. Sign back in. New image, that is the background image from uh, background two. Back to CL1. Notice the inheritance. Notice the background two GPO has precedence over background one because it's closer to the user. But we want background one to apply. So we're going to enforce background one. Notice it changes to show it's enforced. Notice the precedence has changed. And we'll have Beth sign out. And when Beth signs back in, you'll notice the image from the background one GPO applies. Let's run a report to provide documentation. We'll run the Group Policy Results Wizard. We're going to specify computer CL2 and we're going to specify user Beth. Note 
this will only work if that user has signed on to that computer at some point. She has, so this should work fine. We'll generate the report. Select details. Then we'll navigate down to the user configuration administrative templates desktop desktop node and we'll take a look at the properties of the desktop wallpaper setting. Notice it shows that the desktop wallpaper setting from background one is the winner. Successful demo. See you next time.